back everybody sorry for the interruption earlier I had to cut the video up due to t cut the video off due to time restrictions if somebody could help me with this maybe fix it up a bit tell me how to make the videos longer that would help a lot because that keeps happening with my videos and I have to keep shortening them they're always like 28 minutes long or something 23 minutes yeah I'm sure you're bored the entire time I know I'm boring I'm sorry all right so Hmm, long corridor. Wonder where it leads. And we're going, and we're going. I know what's up. It's probably the dragon! Ha ha ha, heroes you are. Uh, what would a dragon say? You are pathetic mortals. I have a princess. You can't have this princess. This princess is me. You will say you, Mighty the Dragon, for we are mighty heroes, even mightier than you. Tally-ho, forsooth. We'll kick your arse, dragon. Do dragons have arses? I bet they do. If they do, then we'll kick your heart like it's never been kicked before. Yeah, with our big swords. So bring it on, dragon. Ha ha ha, you will never defeat me. And it's boss battle time against the dragon. And because of our nullify magic, we nullified that magic raid there. Now Dugan will go to his powers. See the powers right here. Hold up. Right there. With the woman boobs thing. Anyway. Sunder! My favorite move. In case you didn't notice. Now, Smite Evil, since it is light. We'll do extra damage against his type, which is dark. If you check his stats, his weakness is light. Whenever it's red, you know it's the weakness. Whenever it's green, you know they're resistant to it. Or that they absorb the damage. The, actually, blue is resistance, green is absorb. So he has 100% resistance to fire, 60 to water, 20 to air, and 20 to earth. But he's weak to light. So this will do a lot of damage. Yes, that did the max amount of damage, actually. We're going to nullify the damage here. Yes, this is a very easy boss fight, in case you didn't notice. Now we're going to shock you. Strike you out of the air like a little... Yep. What I don't get is why he doesn't fly and land on us. He's twice our size. Should probably make like a Mardic... Um... Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Mardic, oh, like a Mardic anime. That would be strange, but interesting. Also, could be a terrible idea at the same time. He will, I'll let him die from poison. What the heck? I'll wait. No dreaded roar when he dies. It's weird. It's never happened before. Oh dear, I have been slain. Well, we beated the dragon. Oh, thank you for saving me, mighty heroes. Well, it was really all my fault. All your fault? You mean all you're doing? Because that's not fair. We beat the dragon together. Well, I still get the princess. You can have her. She's a girl. Girls are headlights, I heard. They suck on your wallet and drain out all your money. That's what my dad says. Really? Yeah, really. My dad told me, so it must be true. But now that we beat the dragon, though, now what do we do? Uh, she's gone. Apparently she was invisible. Or they were just imagining the whole time. Hmm. I wonder. Okay. Mardik looks kind of gay. It's getting late. I suppose we should head home. I bet our parents are right. Dugan looks awesome. He's got that bowl cut. I used to have a bowl cut in elementary school. Please do not make fun of me. And I know how it feels. It feels terrible. I've always had a lot of hair, by the way. No, I don't have hairs like, uh, say, Marduk's mom. Or, yeah. So let's go home. Yes. Well, I better get home myself. Yeah, obviously. So bye for now, Marduk. See you for some more heroic adventures in the morning. All right. Well, Mom, I'm back. Oh, there you are, dear. How did your adventure with Dugan go? 
great. We slew a princess and saved a dragon. We slew a princess and saved a dragon. Best line in this game. Next to the one that's coming up. You did? That sounds unconventional. I mean, nice. Yes, that sounded nice, dear. I'm glad you had fun. You're growing up to be just like your father. Only he slew dragons and never really saved any princesses, except me. You should call me his queen, you know. I do wonder where he is now, though. I'm sure he'll be back soon. When will Dad get back? I don't know, dear. He's been gone a long time. But I'm so sure he'll be back. I can sense it. Can you sense it too, dear? I can sort of feel that he's not dead. Like he's looking over me, but he's not dead. Yes, that's what I feel too. Must be the spiritual link that we all share as a family, because those exist. Ah, your father. He was a great man. And Kai the Wanderer, he used to be called. Before he met me, met me and we settled down and had you. He was, as I've told you many times before now, an adventurer of great skill and renown, revered throughout the lands. Oh, I fancied him so much before I even met him. He was light, so he thought often about others more often than himself. All he did was for people was usually he didn't know from Adam. He was kind, honest, and yet mysterious. Did you know he never told me about his past? Well, you told me like a million times, Mom. Well, I'll tell you again. He never did tell me about his mystery shrouded past. And he never told me about that drawing, which was so amazing. I didn't know the developer could do that. But though I never knew about it, I never for one moment felt suspicious about him. Like he might have been something bad once. He seemed to radiate this, this feeling that he was always a good man and that he had his reasons for hiding things he did. Like hiding your art skills, come on. Sigh, I miss him so much. I miss being able to draw like that. <laughs> I've never been able to draw like that. Well, I do, Mom. I wish you'd get back soon. Don't worry, dear. He'll come back one day. One day. But well, it's getting pretty late now, Marnik. You should go to bed. Sweet dreams, dear. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs randomly battle you during the night. That's the line right there. Don't let the bed bugs randomly battle you during the night. I will get less nightmares knowing that. Or maybe more, depends on how you think of it. All right, let's go to bed. And it's space on something that's not Earth. And it's a blue cup, bowl, whatever, with weird symbols on it. Right, here's for the talking fast part. Oh, uh, Marduk, are you awake? I just saw the way to sin. It was a star in the sky, even though it was daytime. Well, morning, really, but the same thing, and it looks like it, and it was weird, and then I started getting, like, bigger. It was a falling star, Marduk, a falling star, and I saw where it landed, too. It landed with a big crash, and I saw where it went. It landed in a clearing just on the other side of the sewer wood, I think. We should maybe go and find it, Marduk. Who knows what kind of mystery and wonders it holds. We've been looking around for ages, and this might have been our big chance. Let's go find the fallen star. All right. He just got in bed with me. Hold up. He just got in bed with me. He was like this, right on top of me. Did you see that? I'm going to abandon you. See if I can abandon you. All right. What button do I press? Let's try X. Nope. Can't abandon. Darn it. All right. Let's talk to Momo. Oh, good morning, dear. You and Dugan are off to another adventure again, right? Have fun with that, but mind you don't hurt yourselves. We won't. Um, see what this girl says. Do all children talk to strange adults in this village? Scarper chum, an adventurer like me has nothing to say to you. Okay, meanie. Let's go to the inn. Yes, I am stalling. Stalling, yay. This game would be way too short if I never stalled. Hey, little Sprog, isn't Social Fox, like, totally amazing? I heard that once. He was surrounded by, like, a million monsters. No, a million and five. And he managed to slay them all with his eyes shut, using only his leather codpiece. How amazing is that? I love that line. Even though Social Fox doesn't have a beard, he's totally my idol. Did you hear about that time when he was fighting the octopus with many swords and he got all his limbs dropped off, but it grew them back? and he used the limbs to bludgeon the octopus to death? How brilliant is that? 
and the girl. See what she says. Okay, that is scary. Social Fox is hot. Ugh. I want to marry him when I meet him, and we can have like three babies, and I'd call them Corey and Brandon and Jamie Sue. Squee! <laughs> when you get to my age, you aren't able to do the girl squee like you can when you're younger. Sorry, lads, but I can't serve minors here. Little kitty winks like you shouldn't be interested in booze anyway. It rots your mind. But that don't stop me from liking hot eggs. I sat in bags of money not last night. Am I it? Okay. It seems that there are more people in this inn than there are houses in the village. And what does the mayor do about this? Nothing! The fact that Gosnor doesn't even actually have a mayor has absolutely nothing to do with it. It needs to grow one day and off, uh, off the mayor tree. Someone needs to plant one of those, yes. <laughs> And next lady, wasn't that falling star so exciting? It was one of the most exciting, thrilling things I've ever seen. Why didn't we have falling stars at our wedding, love? I wouldn't want falling stars in my... I would, would have wanted falling stars in my wedding. I didn't know you wanted falling stars at our wedding, dearest. Well, I guess you just don't love me after all, then. His uniform... The uniform of the Gosnor Guard is really ugly. I mean, ew, that horrible vomit green color is so ten years ago. I wear it for the retro look. Shut up. I only joined the guard so then I could get this uniform. Chick's dick guy in the uniform. Like this one here. I'm totally scorned. And I'm gonna get some tonight. Not that this is an appropriate thing to say to a child like yourself, mind you. Bash the X key! Sorry. I like bashing keys. They're fun. But when your keyboard was broken for half a day, then you'd figure out that it's not so fun. My arrow keys are half broken! Alright. This is the side quest I'm going to go on. It will help me a lot in my later adventures. And it is a very peaceful use, but be wary. I will have stutters in this part. Oh, hello there, Mardigan Dugan. Off another adventure again today, are you, eh? Yes, we're looking for a fallen star. Oh, excellent, excellent. I actually have another adventure for you again today. It won't take long. It's sort of a side quest thing. Uh, uh, are you interested? Well, yes. B -b 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 Brilliant. I knew I could count on you, too. I I I'm trying to make a new invention, you see, but I, I, I don't have all the parts I need. I need some l l lead pipes. B -b 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 about five should do. But the best place to g -g 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 get those is in the sewers from the fume rats. Y -y you know I'm incompetent when it comes to combat of any kind. And I know that you relish it and to have f -f 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 fought the fume rats before. So I thought this might be a g -g 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 good choice for you to fight things for an actual reason. Of course, I'll also give you a reward for your efforts. So what do you say? Are you, in uh, are you interested? What do you need the parts for? Ah, I I interested in my inventions, as always I see. This time we're working on something that I think will re re revolutionize the way we all live. I I I'm making a mechanical man. I I I I it's like a man, but made out of metal and cogs. It can do a a anything a normal man can, like physical label and uh, combat. But n n n never tires or disobeys. I can s see them being used all over the lives. Easier by doing things all the labor for us. Wow! Oh, wow. I'm done with him. Wow! Well, it sounds amazing. I can't wait until it's made. Nor can I, but, 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 but of course, but, 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 but I need your help. S so will you retrieve these lead pipes for me? Well, of course. M -m -m Marvelous. You just go, in, go into the sewers and kill a few room rats. They should drop lead pipes. C -c -c Come back here when you've got five of them. All right. That was Meriador. And it's a guy. Just so you let you know. Not a girl. Let's save it. And... 
Tally ho, I will see you guys later.